This is what Mike's up to for dinner tonight. Clams in red sauce. Can't wait. Making uh, pasta with clams. I don't have fresh clams because they're nowhere to be found in Arkansas. But <laughs> I'm doing the best I can because I want to have a dish of spaghetti with clams. Parsley, red pepper flakes, garlic, and I got two nice things of clams, plant cans. And I'm gonna saute this so it's really cooked real nice. And then I'm gonna introduce the clams. And then we're gonna do the, the, the Checo pasta in the nice salty water. Okay. Basil is actually from our own garden here. So first I'm going to layer the toast with a balsamic vinaigrette with a little Dijon and a layer of heirloom tomatoes. Next I'm going to layer a more traditional beefsteak tomato over the top. So I'm going to slice up some grape tomatoes, which are always a little bit sweeter. And also Kalamata olives from Simple Truth, which is one of my favorite brands at Coke, Croker right now. So now we're just going to add some basil leaves on top. And then a little bit more of the balsamic dribbles over the top, and it's ready to serve. And voila! This is dinner. Bon appetito. Someone asked what our garden is looking like these days, and truth is, it's spread out all over the yard, but I'll try to give you a little peek of what's going on. Trees are planted on the side of the house. We have a peach, an apple, plum, and four fig trees. Here's our blueberry bush. And we have our first blueberries. Cucumber growing randomly out of this pot. Neither Mike or I planted it. We actually have citrus trees growing in there, which you can see. Wow. Bought from uh, Brian Teeter last year here locally. It's doing great. And we had a surprise of tomatoes <laughs> growing all around it. So we're just letting them go. Here's the big fig that we brought back, or I should say to Arkansas from Chicago. It's got about, I'd say an eight foot spread on it now. And we ate figs. So I'm planting wisteria today in my favorite new pots from Kroger. They're actually made in Italy by Daroma. So we're heading down the road, Mike's new car, with the top down, second time. He's 
trying out his new windscreen in the back. Yeah. What do you think so far? Well, it makes it so the wind doesn't hit you in the back of the head. People don't realize it. The wind whips around and hits you in the back of the head when you got a convertible. Plus, it makes it pretty quiet. Really quiet. If you want to film at the same time. Yeah, very nice. Tristeza não tem fim Feliz 